Okay, this is the file that you downloaded, wpsecure.zip, and when you unzip that file, you will have these documents here. There's an install video, there's a folder in which uh, contains the files that you need to upload, there's your license text which tells you exactly what you can do with this script, and there is the WordPress secure PDF file which is the install manual. Okay, now what we want to do is to log into our WordPress um, directory for the WordPress install that we want to protect, and I've done so over here in FileZilla. And then I'm going to open up the uh, upload folder and I'm going to just drag across this SCOPBIN folder so that it uploads into my WordPress area. The next thing I want to do is I want to upload the wpsecure.php file and here it is down here and you need to change the name of that to something that nobody's going to guess. Now to change the name you can right click on it and click on the rename just change the front bit, don't change the PHP extension. So I will just type in, let's just type in something I can remember. Um, yabadabadoo.php. Let's just save that. There it is down there. Uh, and the last thing I want to do is I want to open up the WP admin folder. And over here you see you've got. Um, in the upload section, this is what you've got to upload. You've got a folder called WP Admin. You open that and just drag across the HT Access file. Now, the last thing you need to do is you need to change the permissions on the HT Access file. That's simple. Right click, File Attributes, and then change this number to 666. And that's it. That's the install. So if we open this up in our web browser, what we want to do is point the browser to let's go back up to the previous folder. This is our WordPress root folder. We want to point our browser to this file, yabadabadoo.php. So let me just do that now. So this is the folder, uh, sorry, this is the URL that I've actually typed in. It's mydomain.com uh, forward slash blog because my blog, my WordPress blog is installed in the blog folder. And then yabba dabba do. That's that WordPress secure file that uh, we created. And when you log into that address, this is the screen that you'll be taken to. This is the WP secure screen. It tells you what your IP address is. And now, from this point on, only that IP address can log into your WordPress blog. So if you click on the log into your WordPress blog button here, it will then take you to your login screen where you can log in normally. If your IP address is not this one, in other words, if somebody tries to log in from a different IP address from anywhere else in the world, then even if they have your correct username and password, they will not be able to log in. Now, will IP addresses change and your IP address may change as well. That is why we um, type in the URL of that Yabba Dabba Do page because every time you do that, the script will check your IP address and it will rewrite the new version of your IP address if it's changed back into the HD access file um, and then it will mean that only that IP address can log in. So if you then set your login page for your WordPress um, in your shortcut in your um, bookmarks to your Yabba Dabba Do page, whatever you've called it, then you will always, always be setting the IP address to your current IP address and preventing any other IP address from logging in anywhere else. This is great for uh, keeping people out of your WordPress blog admin area from hacking it. The only downside is, is if you share your WordPress blog with other people, then um, this doesn't work quite so well. Although, of course, you could have this installed on um, or rather they could have access to your Yabba Dabba Do file as well so that when they try to access it then um, the acceptable IP address will change to theirs but you can see the value of this only that IP address will now be allowed to log in